okay we continue uh, working on this uh, cloud here so uh, next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add geometry to our uh, particles so I'm gonna click P here to go to the perspective viewport I'm gonna just create sphere control click sphere put it anywhere in my scene and I'm gonna add noise modifier to it I'm gonna click control plus T Uh, let's give it a noise. Okay. And give it just two by two by two. Fractal. And lower my seed. Maybe increase those to four by four by four. Okay, that's good enough. Let's add our, this shape over here now. So I'm going to select my data operator again. I'm going to click uh, Edit Data Flow. I'm going to move to the side here. I'm going to select uh, Shape Control. And select my shape. Okay. Now if I go to Display, I'm going to set it to Geometry. As you can see, we have this geometry on our particles here but as you can see it's very uniform and it's there is no change to it first thing that I need to do I need uh, to play with the radius so with the shape control selected here and I'm gonna click uh, add and uh, from uh, the parameter of my sphere here I'm gonna select my uh, radius and click add now I could control this uh, the shape uh, or our sphere scale using uh, this value here so I'm gonna use scalar I'm gonna set it to a float and I'm gonna connect it to my radius okay as you can see now we are controlling it so you could increase it from here and we could give it some variation too give it a uh, variation of four it seems like uh, controlling uh, our scale using uh, the radius is kind of a little uh, more expensive it seems like it's uh, takes a lot to compute so I'm gonna just disable it I'm gonna delete it okay I'm gonna leave the shape control over here and I'm gonna keep my uh, scalar and instead I'm gonna just go ahead and work on the scale itself so I'm gonna go to uh, output standard here and instead of a position I'm gonna use the scale I'm gonna leave it as average and push it over here and as you can see this will come this way we could control our scale but the volume, if you set it to one, should be the regular size of your sphere, okay? Now, you could uh, change the the volume here and give it some variation. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Let's hide our emitter here. So I'm gonna cl click it and hide selected. I'm gonna hide my uh, comment panel. So now we have our uh, scale. And we need uh, this uh, to happen just at the beginning of our uh, animation. We don't want that to keep uh, happening over and over because if I play now, as you can see, it keeps changing over time. We don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna just connect this new event node over here so this wouldn't happen I'm gonna output these so I'm gonna right click expose I'm gonna expose uh, this value here I'm gonna rename it as scale I'm gonna add it and I'm gonna go to the variation and rename it variation scale or var scale add it and close 
Let's uh, add some uh, rotation to our uh, geometry here too. So uh, before that, let's control the noise too. So I'm gonna select my shape control here. I'm gonna click add. And from here, I'm gonna just select my scale here. So I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna disconnect this one from here. I'm gonna add another scholar. And I'm gonna connect it over here. So this should control the size of our scale, as you can see here. or the size of our noise. I'm gonna connect it over here and do the same, make sure it happened just at the beginning. I'm gonna right click on this ring and rename it to noise scale. This one here, right click on it, rename, and just scale, okay. I'm going to output uh, this value too, so I'm going to right click. And again, you can give it some variation too. So if you don't want uh, the same uh, scale all over the geometry. The only thing is uh, when you try to do the variation on uh, the parameter that uh, belongs to the geometry, it can it seems like it's uh, computing way slower. So I'm going to right click on this one here, I'm going to expose it again. I'm going to select the value, name it to noise scale. Click add. And I'm going to select the variation here too. And I'm going to just name it variation noise or var noise. Click add and close it. As you can see, we have all our parameters right here now. I'm gonna click, uh, did the, I'm gonna set the variation noise here to zero, so it will be faster. But as, you, as long as that, to the point when I start uh, adding some variation noise here, it's gonna go slower, so if I say, uh, if we give it to one variation, as you can see, it does not respond quickly but it does give us uh, a better uh, non-uniform noise all over our uh, cloud here, okay? Now I'm gonna click edit data flow. Let's uh, give it uh, some uh, random rotation. I'm gonna just select this one here. I'm gonna click control C and control V. I'm not sure if I did copy it or no, so I'm gonna just maximize my scene. Yes, I did, it's right here. I'm gonna select my scale, I'm gonna rename it to rotation. And this one here, I'm gonna set it to rotation. Oops, I'm gonna click Ctrl plus Z. Let's scale average the output. I'm gonna output the rotation. And I don't want, uh, I could use a uh, rotation uh, vector and give it a uh, vector uh, randomness, but I'm going to just use the angle and just connect this one over here. Give it a second to compute. And let's see what's going to happen if we change our rotation. Nothing is happening. Okay. So instead of an angle, let's use the Euler angle. And let's change. Let's uh, input a vector here. Actually, we could use uh, the real 
the value that we just deleted I'm gonna just control Z and I'm gonna right click new convert I'm gonna switch it from real to vector okay I think it's that uh, no variation noise is, is uh, giving making it slower so I'm gonna just turn it off click at the data flow I'm gonna connect this one over here and I'm gonna connect this over here I want the X and Y and Z to be the same okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just delete these here it seems like they are not working so I'm gonna right click and click new select a random and I'm gonna change it to I'm gonna first I'm gonna output type as a vector then I'm gonna leave it as uniform and connect it over here okay that's working now uh, before we do anything make sure this one is plugged over here too okay so we have our noise scale our scale and our rotation okay again I'm gonna right click on this I'm gonna click expose I could expose the X and Y and Z for the rotation but I'm gonna just expose the seed so I'm gonna name it uh, rotation or rotation just route seed there you go click add and close it I'm gonna set this one here to one four one four that's how it was so okay so if I close this as you can see we have random rotation now nice next part what we need to do we need uh, to uh, fix uh, the most of the clouds are always uh, flat at the bottom so uh, let's uh, so if I increase my Z position here as you can see I'm gonna start losing that's flat bad here so uh, let's address that issue so I'm gonna click edit data flow again and now what I need I need my position vector here that I just outputted so I'm gonna input standard position vector and I'm gonna use the amount change and I'm gonna use it to delete instead of spawn and it says here false to delete this one if this is false it's gonna delete it I'm gonna add the position I'm gonna need just the Z position and uh, let's compare it if it's uh, superior than zero so uh, the condition if this is superior than zero okay so if this condition is fault which is mean uh, our uh, particle are falling under the, the zero they're going to be deleted there you go as you can see now the, all the ones that they are under the, the zero they are all being deleted okay and we could uh, change it doesn't have to be zero we could just increase it and we increase it this means we're gonna lower our bed or our cloud or make it bigger and as you can see now we have this flat here connect this one over here connect this one over and this one I'm gonna expose it again which I'm gonna expose this condition here expose I'm gonna expose the value and I'm gonna name it let's, let's look for a name for that uh, flat level I guess flat level flat level and click add and close okay so now we have uh, our cloud system so I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna save this preset as cloud system
and click OK. I'm gonna just make that's fine. I'm gonna just leave it as is and click OK. Now our uh, data operator is created. Now all that we gotta do is just um, select it from your data operator and you don't have to worry about all of these. The only thing that you need to add in your system is just added uh, some uh, birth uh, operator. So I'm gonna just increase the amount to 2000 here. And if we go to the front view port, as you can see now, I have, I can change the Z position, give it some variation, give it some speed, uh, different seed, adjust the scale, adjust the scale variation, the noise scale, I'm not gonna touch the variation noise, but if you want to, let's say give it a different noise pattern, as you can see, but uh, this does uh, slow down our system, but if you want to use it, it's there. So I'm going to lower it down to zero. This is going to our rotation seed, going to give us a different rotation in every click. And flat level here, as you can see, either make your uh, cloud flat or make it non-flat. Okay, so this is our cloud now. Uh, in the next video, we're going to uh, just uh, convert uh, this one to a mesh and we're going to use it for our, our FUMFX to uh, make the cloud.